Let's worship the wonderful God, the God who himself is wonderful, the one who performs wonders that cannot be fathomed. Let's give him praise, the one who can perform wonders in your life, in your situation, and turn you into a wonder. Worship him, worship him, give him praise tonight, give him praise tonight, worship his majesty. Worship His Majesty. Ma prosecre ye. Prasat la depo. Give Him praise in the house. Give Him praise in the house. He's an awesome God. He's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. He's a man of war. Whose name is the Lord. receive our worship and empower your word to bless us tonight and do what only you can do in Jesus name in Jesus name we may be seated 
Thank you, Daddy Gio. Thank you, Mommy Gio. And thank you, leadership of RCCG, for the opportunity given me to minister. The Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. I appreciate you, sir. I'm mad. Amen. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 60, verse 2, that darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness covers the people. Apostle Paul also wrote to Timothy in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 to 5. He said, mark this, take note of this, that in the last days, dangerous times, perilous times, difficult times, terrible times shall come. People will be lovers of themselves. They will be lovers of money. They will be lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. They will be boastful. They will be proud. They will be abusive. They will be disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of good, treacherous, rash, self-conceited, having a form of godliness, but deny the power thereof. This is a vivid description of the consequences of the work of darkness. If anyone, if any place, if any city, if any country is in darkness and have been suffering from the effects of darkness, the light is here Amen. for a new beginning. Amen. The light is here, not only in the world, but in L.A., for a new beginning is in the LA County, is in California, is in the West Coast, is in North America for a new beginning in the name of Jesus. But how did we get here? How did we get here? The problem of sin is the cause for darkness. The problem of sin is the cause for darkness. Through Adam and Eve, we all sinned. They disobeyed God, and so through them, all sinned. According to Romans chapter 5, verse 12, that one of our speakers said, it is what we call the original sin, the universal sin, the representative sin, the federal sin. Therefore, all, without exception, have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. Romans 3, 23. With the original sin, individually, we begin to commit personal sins. Consequently, we sold ourselves to Satan, who is the prince of darkness. Sin entered the world, and so darkness. Man has been subjected to the work of darkness, resulting in death, separation, especially from the almighty God, condemnation, slavery in the hand of the devil, sicknesses, diseases, oppression, and affliction. We became object of wrath of God. We became helpless, hopeless, and alienated from the commonwealth, from the family of the almighty God. We became enemies of God. We are enmity with God. Judgment is on us. We do all kinds of evil and eternity, and eternity in hell with unque unquenchable fire with brimstone. It is gloomy to be in darkness and to remain in darkness. But the story did not end here. Here's the good news, people of God. God made provision for light. God, in his love, in his mercy, in his grace for us, God make provision for a great light to shine in darkness that the darkness cannot comprehend it, cannot understand it. He sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, as the light of the world. The Bible says in John 3, 16, that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, only begotten son, that so ever anybody who believes in him shall not perish, 
but have everlasting life. Everlasting life. Isaiah saw it in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 2. He said that this God was sending light to the Gentiles who were in darkness and those who walk in the shadow of darkness and shadow of death. The light has come. Jesus affirmed in John chapter 8, verse 12, that I am the light of the world. Anyone who follows me will not walk in darkness. Rather, the life, the life of light is in him, is the light of the world. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness. And in John 4, 12, 46, he said, I have come into the world as a light so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. It's right here. But for the light to shine, for Jesus to be the light of the world, was not easy. He paid a great price. This didn't just happen. Jesus paid a great price to be the light of the world. He gave his body for us. He gave his body for the entire world. The Bible says he was wounded for our transgression. He was, he was beaten for us. He was chastised. The stripes was laid upon him. They put a crown of thorn on his head and blood gushed out. He was led to Calvary where his hands were laid on the cross, his feet were laid on the cross, and they pierced his side that there was nothing in Jesus by which we could be attracted unto him. And the Bible says, by those stripes we have been healed. He did not only give his body, he gave his soul for us. The seed of emotion, the seed of, the seed of his will, and the seed of his intellect he gave unto us. The Bible says that Jesus was a man of sorrow, acquainted with pains. He was a man of sorrow. He was despised and rejected. Despised and rejected. When you go to the cross carrying your sin, carrying my sin, God Almighty, whose eyes were so pure, so holy, that could not bestow sin, look away from him. But when you read John chapter 8, verse 29, Jesus said, I am brought alone. The one who sent me is with me. For I always do those things that are pleasing unto him. But on the cross, he said, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani. My God, my God, why? Have you forsaken me? It is because of you, it is because of me, so the light can shine unto us. He did not long, only give his body, he did not long, he only give his, his soul, his emotion, he also gave his glory. The Bible says he came and became like us, he accommodated us, he, he, he humbled himself, even unto the death on the cross of Calvary. And then finally, he gave his spirit. He literally died on the cross of Calvary and was buried. He became the Lamb of God that took away the sins of the world. He became the Passover Lamb. He became the sacrificial Lamb so the light can shine. But on the third day after he was buried, he resurrected to be the Christ and the Lord and an ever shining light. He defeated the author and the ruler of darkness. Therefore, we are redeemed. We are reconciled to God. We are restored. Deliverance became our portion. Salvation became our portion. Healing, sonship, blessings, eternal life with God in heaven, resurrection, justification, sanctification, atonement, and remission of sins became our portion. Victory became our portion. We are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his life, into the kingdom of dear son. We became, we became God's chosen people, new creation, royal priesthood, royal diadem, a people belonging to God to declare the praise of the almighty God. We delight all things are passed away. They become new. People of God, 
With the light of God in us, with the light of God in the world, with the light of God among us, let's forget the former things. Forget the past. The past is past. Bury it. There's no life in it. Bury the past and your current experience. Don't ponder over them. God is doing a new thing, especially in LA, especially in, 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 in LA County, California, in the West Coast, in North America. God is doing a new thing. Nothing is impossible for this light. Nothing is difficult for him. Nothing is too hard for him. He has no limitation. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. But I want to say, people of God, for you to en engage and enjoy this light, you have personal responsibilities. You have personal responsibility to be a, a recipient and reflector of the light of God. You have personal responsibility. The light is a gift that God has given unto us. You must personally believe this gift and receive it. You must surrender your life to Jesus. As many as believe him, to them he has given the power to become sons and daughters of God. He said, anyone who follows me, anyone who believes in me, will not live in darkness. But the light of life is in him. You must receive him. Believe in your heart that is the son of God. He died and rose on the third day. And confess him with your mouth that is Lord. Because with the heart, man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Tonight is your night, people of God. Give your life to him. Let him be the savior and the Lord of your life. And for those of us who have already received him as our personal Lord and Savior, we also have personal responsibilities. As recipients of the light, we must go and reflect the light. We must go and shine the light. The Bible says you are the light of the world. You are a city set on the hill. No one lights a candle and put it under a bush, but you put it on the table so you can lighten the whole house. Say, therefore, go. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good work and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Let's go and shine the light of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ with the anointing, with the liquid fire, with the power of the Holy Spirit as we heard from our Father yesterday. Let's go with the white flame of the anointing of the Holy Spirit to storm LA, to storm West Coast, to storm everywhere because we have the mandate souls matter to God. Souls matter to God. Soul is the eagerness of God. It is the heartbeat of God. He said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Anyone who believes in him and is baptized shall be saved. And anyone who doesn't believe will be condemned. Let's go and preach the gospel. He says, as my father has sent me, so I'm sending, sending you. You will receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. He said, you are witnesses of these things. Repentance and forgiveness of sins will be preached in all the nations. Will be preached in all the nations. But tarry in Jerusalem unto endued with the power from above. We have been given the mandate. Let's receive the mantle. Souls matter to God. We have the problem of sin that's given the darkness, but the light of the world is in this place. Shall we rise up, please, and begin to just bless God for giving us the light. Jesus Christ is the light of the way of the world. And he's here. He's in LA County. He's in this building. He's in this building. He's in this building. He's in West Coast of, of, of America. And it's in the old world. Let's bless the Lord for the light that God has given unto us. Believe him and receive him in the name of Jesus. And you begin to experience new things. Let's begin to just worship the Lord in this place. Just worship God for his love. For his love. For his love. The old will pass away and they will become new. Let's go and light up LA with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Jesus Christ, in the power of the Holy Spirit, we lighten early. In Jesus' name, we pray. Praise the Lord, we may be saved.